Hello, my name is Kathy Reed and welcome back to the mat. Today we're going to work on firing up our core because when you have a strong core, you're capable of doing so much more. So we'll begin in child's pose. Your knees can be wide on the edges of your mat, big toes touching or together. Whatever is comfortable for you. And allowing the head to connect into the earth. Arms extended out forward. Creating a separation and finding our breath. Breathing in and out and letting go. Take a moment to maybe wish yourself some kindness and compassion during today's practice. For the core is a challenge and it is a process. And it's progress, not perfection. There's a reason they call it a yoga practice. We'll take two more breaths here. And then slowly push yourself up onto hands and knees, bringing the knees in under the hips, the shoulders over the wrists, and the toes pointing back. We'll start by warming up the wrists, so pressing our weight into the palms of our hands and shifting our weight forward and back, creating little mini circles. And feeling free to explore what other range of motion feels comfortable for you today. Maybe adding a little bit more of the hips in if you need that. And switching directions at any time. After your next rotation, Turn the fingertips pointing towards our knees. Pinkies on the inside facing each other. And if they aren't all the way pointing towards you, that's okay. Like I said, this is a progress, not perfection. So being mindful of what your capabilities are and your range of motion. We inhale for cow. Exhale, rounding the back, tucking the chin, cat. Finding our inhale, an opening, exhale, and rounding. And do two more. To your breath. And then back to center. Turn the fingertips to the front and then allow the right hand to be palm side up, fingertips pointing towards the left side of your mat and gently applying some downward pressure onto the wrist. Switch, right palm on the mat and left back side of the hand on the mat, fingertips pointing towards the right thumb. Again, gentle pressure. Good morning wrists, good afternoon wrists, good evening wrists. Hello, I see you there. Flip the palm back, tuck the toes, and then bring the hips up to the sky as you pedal and find movement in downward dog. Again, driving the heels towards the ground, maybe finding some twist. Little bit of movement. And then allow yourself to rest. Arms long, tailbone reaching up to the sky, heels driving down. 
Inhale, raise your right leg up. And then exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, up. Exhale, right knee, right wrist. We'll be making a box. Inhale, up. Exhale, right knee, left wrist. Crossing over, keeping the shoulder square. And back. Next, exhale, right knee to the left tricep. And back. Next, exhale, bring it forward. Knee to nose. And hold. For three, two, one, and back. This time, right knee back to the right tricep, and we hold here for three, two, one. Drop it towards the wrist, maybe just an inch off the ground, driving the heel up towards your glute, and then crossing it over, over towards the left wrist, staying square not twisting our right shoulder. And then up, like we did in our cat rounding the back. And reach it up towards the sky, extend it out. And then exhale, foot plants in between your hands. Haul it up there if you need to. Drop the left knee, right arm twists up and raises up towards the sky. Find your breath. And exhale. Right hand comes down. Tuck the toes. And then bring the left leg up to the front of the mat. Inhale. Arms come up, chair pose. And sure, we drive the hips down. Biceps by our ears. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees and take a seat. Driving the legs out, boat pose. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, extend. Stay here. We draw it in. And out. Inhale. Exhale, crunching. Inhale, lengthen. And crunch. Lengthen. Crunch. Lengthen. And on the next crunch, drive yourself forward, rolling up back into your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump to the back of the mat and slowly lower down in five, four, three, two, one. Coming up, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Find your breath. Coming back to that connection. And moving to the left leg, we inhale, raise it up. And then exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale back. Exhale, left wrist. Inhale back. Exhale, left knee, right wrist. Again, making that box. Send it back. And then exhale to our right tricep. Send it back. Exhale, knee to nose. Really tuck it in, round the back. Draw the shoulders away from each other. For five, four, three, Two, one, send it back. Find your breath, and on the exhale, back to that left tricep. 
And we hold for three, two, one. Drop to the left wrist. Three, two, one. Crossing over right wrist. Three, two, one. Up, really crunching up towards that right bicep, tricep, upper arm. And send it back. Next, exhale. Step in between your hands. Drop that right knee. Point the right toes. Left arm reaching up towards the sky. Gazing up or maybe just out. Next, exhale, return your gaze to the front of the mat. Frame that front foot. Come up on the back toes, shift the weight into the front foot, and step to the front of the mat. Raise the arms up, chair pose. Inhale. Exhale a little bit deeper. Drawing the belly in towards the spine, tucking the tail, and then Exhale, sitting all the way down, extending the legs out, boat pose. Exhale, low boat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, low. So continue for another eight. <laughs> yes, I said eight. Seven. You're doing great. Six. And five. Keep it up. Four, three, two, you're almost there. And one, on the next one, we're gonna stand up back into our chair pose. Arms come up, tuck the tail, sit back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or jump, back of the mat, and slowly lower down for five, four, three, two, one. Point the toes, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Find your breath, your connection. you're ready, inhale plank, exhale downward dog, inhale plank, drawing the core up, downward dog, inhale plank, exhale downward dog, two more, inhale, exhale downward dog, last one, inhale, this time we're gonna roll over onto the side of our left foot. Right foot stacked on top, maybe staggered in front. Right arm reaches up towards the sky, side plank. And hold the pose, not your breath. Exhale, bringing the right forearm down to the mat. We roll over onto the edge of our opposite foot and bring the left arm up towards the sky. Side forearm plank. And hold. Three, two, one. Left palm comes down, rolling over, letting the knee, left knee drop, and then opening up for a modified wild thing. Exhale, return the right arm, right hand back to the front of the mat, downward dog. Pedal the feet. And find ourselves back into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Three more. You're 
doing great. Last one, we're going to hold into plank. And this time dropping over onto our right foot. Stack the left on top. Arm reaches up towards the sky, side arm, side plank. Another three, two, one, left forearm comes down. We switch the sides. So now we're on our left side. Right arm reaching up, not collapsing into that forearm, but staying strong. Pushing the side body up. For another three, two, one. Right hand comes down. Right knee comes down, left leg steps back, opening up modified wide bend. And coming back to child's pose. Maybe taking it wide legged, knees to the edges of the mat. Maybe externally rotate your wrist by having your palms facing up towards the sky. Reconnect to your breath, your intention, and some compassion and kindness. When you're ready, come back up, knees together, and sit back down. Thanks for joining me for a little bit of core workout. Enjoy the rest of your day and your practice. Until next time, namaste.